Alright, this is Nate from your Neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk Hour. We're going to be reviewing Star Wars by Sega today. Please look for a review under the description of the YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as click that red subscribe button down below. You know you want to. If you like Arcade, if you like Pinball, click that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, we're en route right now to Cart Country in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. And uh, this is a routed uh, Star Wars, uh, which means there are some things that are non-operational on it, so we'll preface with that first. Uh, looking at this table, what you can tell is the flipper gap's not too bad. In lane to the left and right, as far as table uh, mechanics are concerned, out lane to the left and right. You have a special, which is a little rollover underneath the, uh, the X-Wing that comes out, kicks out to the middle of the play field. You have a ran, uh, lane that goes all the way around to the left side, drops through the middle. Uh, can be a full orbit if you hit it hard enough. Coming down the middle, you have some pop bumpers. Uh, you also have a ramp that goes up and actually have it trails back to your right in lane. Uh, under the uh, TIE Fighter, you have some drop targets. Uh, a little area behind there, as well as a lane that goes to the land speeders which goes up to the the columns to the back as well and then you have an area where the ball will drop down where Han Solo is and uh, that will kick up. Uh, other than that decent play field for what it is. As you can tell the sling on the right is not working. So there's there's the ramp that comes down to the X-Wing and it will maneuver to the right end lane or it will maneuver to the right uh, the left end lane. And this just happens to have this just happens to have moved to the X wing uh, to the left end lane. Soundtrack is what you would expect. Sounds good. And as you can tell with that uh, that X wing, the the coil on it actually is not is not enough to get the ball off of it. So it's getting stuck in that area. But with that said, soundtrack looks good. Playfield looks good. And the theme, of course, is Star Wars, so you can't really go wrong with that. So that ball just went to Han Solo and kicked up behind there. And as you saw, that lane that goes around the left side of the ramp will go all the way around. And sometimes if you don't have enough speed, it will drop back on the columns. You know, the pros and cons of playing machines en route are the fact that sometimes you just run into the into a machine that operationally isn't maintained and this is one of them now I'd probably say 70% of the parts on this are working right now uh, but it also doesn't take away fully from the full effect of the game which is it is laid out pretty decently Negative. so I love I, I do like the flow of the game I think you're open to the middle of the play field and to the front to the back you have quite a few shots that are going on for this being and for this being made you know back in the day obviously it, it was very well made and has a really good layout to it soundtracks there sound bites are there play field artwork is there it looks really good fun factor of the machine uh, what I would say is fun factor right now uh, if it was working fully, I would say it's actually a pretty fun table. If you like Star Wars, you're going to like it either way. Uh, replayability on this machine, I would say, is there too. It, it, it definitely has the fun factor and the replayability factor to it. But all in all, great table. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll have everything down there. If you're on desktop, just click show more underneath the video. If you're on mobile, click the little triangle underneath the headline, and that should open it up. Other than that, thank you again for watching today. We truly appreciate it. Until next time, Arcade and Pinball Talk signing out.